took a deep breath, clenched and pulled. Sam made this look so easy. John squashed the thought. He'd just have to push harder. John tried to make eye contact with Sam, get in his head a bit. Sam didn't seem to notice John, but John could tell Sam was impressed. Even though he still hadn't looked at John, not that it mattered to John, because John was in the zone. Deep. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part two of Gentle Justing. John, why is the bathroom barricaded? Oh, there you go. Foreskin's sake! Is that a swan? John had no is. idea how it had gotten into his home, or why it hated him so much. It would probably be best to leave it alone. Okay, 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 I'm leaving, jeez. I have nothing left. Everything's gone. John's butt started to buzz. Had he left a vibrator up there? Whatever it was, he should get it out. Or you just leave a vibrator in there. John's old phone. They really were indestructible. Is this a it Nokia was Sam calling. He wanted to check in on John. The travel looked fun, but it was so sudden. Was John okay? Sam was such a softy, always worrying about feelings. Oh, yes. John had only one feeling, and it was the feeling of being awesome. He yeah, could yeah. drop Sam a text, but John was on a mission. The reunion was getting closer, and he had to get a date. Fortunately, John knew exactly where to find love. Oh, what's this? John held his breath. He was about to meet his match. He had to reassure himself he could do this. He had a good job. He had nice stuff. He had traveled. He was ready to find love. <laughs> On Wiener. Where Wiener. Where his sexy travel photos would give him the pick of the pack. Mmm, hot. Sexy. Very nice. Nice shaft. Too skinny. Very hot. Gorgeous. Worth a shot. Looks hot. Please. One hour later. Find perfect match. Meet Megan. Yep, the pick of the pack. Yeah, any match. Megan again? Many hours later. I was like ten Yes! Repeating. John had the pick of the pack. Finally. Yeah, any match. Very dirty peen, if you know what I mean. Oh god. John valued honesty in a date, but he had been expecting a different kind of dirty. A sexy, a much more hygienic Help me. kind. Ah. An ice queen looking for love. Just an ice queen hooking her blood. We're on ice skate. John was scared of getting circumcised. So circumcised. Oh. Oh God. You better put that on ice. John. Okay, John. John. Check sticks cars. I hope. Oh God, John. I'll be peeing with a sense of humor. After the reattachment surgery, the doctors had told John to rest, so he did for six hours. <laughs> John. Give me some popcorn. Take it. Uh, okay, whatever. 
Alright, let's go. I can't move. I did not move. Whatever. I need a seat. Alright, move over. My seat now. <laughs> John was in stitches. Literally in stitches. Single mom, does anyone like cake? Is this her house? Karen had invited John straight over. She was not fooling around. Very exciting. And now she wanted him round the back. Oh, it's to be doing yard work. Oh, birthday party. Karen let John know that the cake was only for the kids. So was the candy and the piñata. And that she'd be back in one hour. Ah, um, she, she wants me to babysit the kids. Look after the Karen's... Look, at, look after Karen's kids. Wait, there's a, there's a thingy out there. What the... Uh, those penis seagull things. My stock comes on. Oh, I fell asleep. Wait, 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 no! Oh, I'm trying to get that worm thing. I missed that worm thing John in the last chapter. Dang it, it's on the bottom right. Front story. Oh, I completely missed it. Adorable. Dang. Everything was going perfectly. John never saw me again. Oh, that's dark. So far, Weena had been a parade of weirdos and rejections. If this date didn't work out, John vowed to give it up. But maybe this time, maybe today would be his day. Sharona sighed and said, You'll do. Am I getting married? Enjoy right here. Or is it just a wedding date? John felt a little underdressed and a lot overwhelmed. He was surrounded by strangers, and Sharona was glaring at the muscular groom. At least John hadn't missed out on the cake. John realized that Sharona had only brought him to create some penis envy. <laughs> penis envy? For so many reasons. John got excited. They were going to cut the cake. He's mine! Sharona screamed as she launched herself at the newlyweds. Suddenly, penises were up and yelling, No! He's mine! It was a no-holds-barred cockfight. Mm, cockfight. I'm getting out of here. Fuck this. Why is the groom following me on the knife? Flying glasses and cake. He felt a stab of envy. The groom had dozens of penises after him, and John had none. It was just wrong. John left the screams and explosions behind him. It was a disastrous end to his online dating. He had tried everything. Swans were so simple. If you gave them bread, they liked you. But you can't take a swan to a reunion. Oh, it's somber music. John wanted what that groom had. Love. Real love. The kind that makes penises fight to the death. Oh god. I suck in here with my, with my swan.
Days later, the question was still bugging John. Why were so many penises in love with the groom, but no one loved John? You the dishes. So you want me to smash the dishes, gotcha. It wasn't fair. John deserved attention. He had money and buttstagram pics of his adventures. He even still had quite a lot of stuff. What did that penis have that John didn't? Muscles? Then it hit John. That penis was so strong and hard. <laughs> That's and what hard. everyone wanted. That's what John wasn't. It's That's what John this. had to be to find love. It was time to hit the gym. Hit the sack. John arrived at his local gym. A part of him couldn't believe he was here. He just wasn't a gym penis. But John had tried everything else. If he wanted to get the perfect date, he'd need to sign up. Sam? What was he doing here? Of course, Sam was married. John's theory was right. If you get muscles, you get love. Out of nowhere, Sam asked John how he was doing. Really doing. For a moment, John wanted to be honest. But he didn't come to Jim to be a softie. John was here to get hard. It was John's first time in a gym since school. He tried not to read too much into that. John had two options. He could try month by month, or if he signed the 10-year Big Muscles Big Savings contract, he'd get a free Easy Squeezy water bottle. John only needed muscles for the reunion. After that, he wouldn't care. The gym's clean peen pool policy meant that John would have to do something he had never done before. Get naked in front of strangers. Maybe he could set a record for speediest cleanse. Ah oh yes, there's always, a, there's always an old man there. John pretended he was alone and not surrounded by wrinkly wet cocks. <laughs> wrinkly wet cocks. If John had to be clean, he might as well do his laundry too. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to take the clothes off. Interesting. Whoopsie. Whatever. John liked the efficiency of it. Besides, he was going to the pool after this, so it's not like his outfit wasn't going to get wet anyway. Sam enthusiastically Oopsie. greeted John and offered to show him around. Obviously not realizing that John was a natural athlete. John stuck so close to Sam, just to make sure Sam knew John could swim. Not because John was worried about drowning. No, not that. This wasn't hard. John couldn't believe Peens actually got gold medals just for splashing around. Maybe he could become an Olympian. He was slowing down a bit, flailing a bit. But John pushed on, knowing that looking good in a Speedo was the only thing that could save him from an empty existence. Let me out! And I'm gonna drown if I stop. Go on, let me take a break. Ah. Uh, press time. Alright. Back to it. I'm drowning. John wanted to take a break. Forever. The pool was not his friend. It was not the blissful wet dream of his fantasies. It was a hellish prison of murderous fluid determined to drown him. No wonder life crawled out of the sea, desperate to escape the water. Done. John had not drowned, but more importantly, he had not quit. Time to hit the weight room. Ah oh, shit, I'm stuck. There we go. 
John's muscles bunched and bulged. The time in the gym was already paying off. Fresh from conquering the pool, John felt ready for anything the gym could throw at him, even heavy metal weights. Sam cheered John on, as if he needed it. John smashed the mirror. He didn't want to look at his old body. He wanted to be hard. Adrenaline coursed through John's veins. His butthole clenched like a fist. John was forging himself into the peen he saw on movie screens, bulging and sweat slicked, hard and shiny. Like, uh, Boom! John was cocked and loaded. Didn't Sam ever get out of breath? The stream of encouragement was exhausting. Slow and steady. That's right, John. Like a lover. Or pouring gravy. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna go to some max speed and get launched back into the mirror. Yep. John, getting flung from fast moving objects since preschool. You fucking called it. Yeah, that that had gotten TV. John's heart rate up and his life expectancy down. John was sweating like a senator on a sex tape, but he wasn't done. John took a deep breath, clenched, and pulled. Sam made this look so easy. John squashed the thought. He'd just have to push harder. John tried to make eye contact with Sam, get in his head a bit. Sam didn't seem to notice John, but John could tell Sam was impressed. Even though he still hadn't looked at John, not that it mattered to John, because John was in the zone. Deep in the zone. I win! With the sound of a deflating truck tire, John's sphincter gave out. Sam congratulated John for well, trying win, and told him it was okay to in. take things slow. As if John was going in. to quit. Well, he wasn't. John had a mission, and the reunion mean, was getting closer. How did I lose? I had a 14. Oh my god. Get through, just get through it, work. Five weeks. Dog. Swim. Spear your butthole. Oh man, those are some heavy, those are some heavy little weights. Eat. Destroy that chicken. Is that protein powder? Four weeks. What do you do here anyway? Work? That is terrifying. What the hell is that? Self worth. Go to the right. Oh, there's another nightmare. Interesting. 
School? Okay, I think it's another nightmare. Oh, God. What? Ah, oh, oh, God. Okay, um... Nope. That was close. Back up, back up. Oh. What? I, I stopped. Man. What? Bruh, so close. What's there? Holy shit. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, I guess that's not good. Man. I'm not impressed? How do I impress her? Am I just gonna knock out a tree or something? Oh, it's another oh. nightmare. As yep. soon as John woke up, oh, damn, he got abs in. Call to him. His abs looked like a pack of vacuum sealed hot dogs. Tasty. Jim had remade John into a sculpted Adongus. <laughs> he was finally everything a peen should be successful, traveled, and photogenic. Oh, it was time Bronson. for his morning pre gym workout. Turn it off, whatever. Hit the treadmill. Why is it the middle of the park? Holy! Okay, okay. Are those steroids? Those are roids. Those are steroids. Those are roids. Right? The reunion invitation caught John's eye. He read it again. And again. Stunned. He'd gotten the date wrong. Very wrong. The reunion was tonight. TONIGHT! He'd have to go alone. They'd all be there, and they'd look at John, and they'd know he was still a loser. No, there was still time. John needed a date fast. He'd have to go out. He'd have to make an impact. John had to dress his best, only better. This isn't the time for comfort, John. Is this sending the right message? Oh my, John. Welcome to the gun show. There had to be someone single and desperately alone in the city. Someone besides John. <laughs> he just had to find them. John went straight to the nearest bar. Sure, it was still early, but he couldn't waste any time. There must be some day drinkers he could pick up. It was a classy place. Even the vomit was high quality. The bouncer looked like a hagfish that had taken up lacrosse. 
the cockpit. Much better. <laughs> John stepped into the bar and saw her. The answer to the question, what was John's purpose? Her, loving her, being with her, taking oh, her to the reunion. Uncircumcised and Their circumcised. eyes lit and John knew she felt the same. Gladys did not she feel the same. But John wasn't going to give up on their life together. A couple of drinks would loosen her up to their destiny. Squirt money. Guys, if a girl doesn't like you, you think her alcohol is not the, wow. not the solution. Gladys was not an amateur when it came to drinking. John had saying. to keep up. It was working. Gladys was definitely warming up to John. John's bladder was very full. It sloshed audibly as he moved. John needed to get to the bathroom right away. Holy balls! Holy John balls. had never felt such relief. Let's see, this is uh, interesting. Oh god, what just happened? Are they doing the nasty? I think they're doing the nasty. One of them is uh, playing with sand. What the hell's that? If only John could wash off the embarrassment like he washed off the urine. John looked around. Gladys was gone. John cursed his petite bladder. The bored bartender shrugged and told John Gladys had left because some creep was trying to get her drunk. That's you. The bar was empty. The creep must have left too. That's me. A yeah, couple like of said, cold beers would cool down you. John's frustration. Don't try to get her drunk. That's not, that's not like the solution. The cockpit was on autopilot. Time for John to hit the next bar. Hey guys, it John's gonna show up to the fucking reunion drunk cell. John's anxiety had sunk under the surface of the beer he'd drunk. While his confidence was floating high, this was the place he'd find love. It was empty, except for the bartender. Clearly, this bar's only special was unhappy hour. Two for one was a good deal though, and so far the beer had lifted John's spirits. Another four would make him feel twice as good. Am I able to drink it? Tender gave John a smile that set his heart hammering. He had to impress him. What was so offensive about offering a big tip in exchange for a date? Uh -huh. John had thought bartenders love tips. He needed to find a better club. One with a vibe.
How many beers was John? John was John drawn by the pulse the of the music. It pulled him forward like a moth to a fiery a death. Lands. John was running out of time to find a date and prove that he wasn't a loser. Dancing. The real way to flirt. The way of animals, of wild sexual creatures. John strutted and shook his booty. With booze buzzing round his head, John found himself on the dance floor. Everyone was up close and sweaty. John was exhilarated. He felt alive. John was working himself up to try a little bump and grind. It was a moment out of a movie. John alone on the dance floor with a gorgeous penis. Oh. Their sexual chemistry exploding. She moved away, coyly. John could tell when someone was playing hard to get. He let her marinate in the tension before making his move. John wasn't taking no for an answer. Whoa, 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 John, calm down. You can't just say no. Some people have no sense of fun. But John was certain the next bar would be different. Come on, John, you can't do that. No rectum. The next bar wasn't different. Snake hole. John couldn't understand why everyone was so sensitive. Something sad. It was like no one wanted to have a good time. Rob. Like Chum. no one <laughs> had a sense of humor. Mixies. John had meant that as a compliment. Morning glory. When did the world get so uptight? John's ego was as bruised as his shaft. Alleyway. He had to admit it. He'd failed. He was where he belonged. In a creepy murder alley covered in trash. Alright everyone, the, this video is getting long, it's like 30 minutes, I'm going to end the recording for part 2 here, and then start part 3 in a little bit.